So this will be the Florida race, Ron DeSantis for governor, DeSatan uh, versus Charlie Crist, Christ. So we'll see what happens. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>
you know, these uh, celebratory, um, the, the emotional celebrations, and uh, it's a hard, hard row to hoe. Doesn't really tell us if he's Satan or not. Let's do one more card. Come on. Is this guy Satan? And here we get secrets being revealed. Well, that's interesting. Leads me to think that perhaps he is. Charlie Crist. So obviously I don't think Charlie Crist is Christ, but I want to know if he's going to be the one that is the savior for Florida. Charlie Crist, Republican come Democrat, is he going to be Florida's uh, turning around point? Because I got to tell you, I got friends and family there and they are mesmerized by the Republican control over that state. So will Charlie Crist be the ones who can put the state right or at least get it on the right path? Three cards. One, two, three. Charlie Crist, are you the savior for Florida? First card. Okay. This is the Page of Swords. You know, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And the page being the weakest of the court cards is just the messenger, okay? He's bringing that forward. And this page even, you know, if if truth, if the swords, if the truth and justice were going to be prominent, it seems like it'd be held up there like this. But the sword's being held kind of down and kind of loosely, if you look in his hand. So um, he's bringing the message. Okay, that's who he is right now. Next one up for Charlie Crist. Savior. Uh, okay, this is the Ace of Cups. So he's bringing a great big message of compassion. And then the final card with this Three of Coins is putting something together for public display. He's working on it. Let's do the same thing we do with Ryan. Let's give Charlie one more card. Are you going to be Florida's savior? Judgment. Interesting. I'm going to say this tells me uh, probably yes. So... DeSantis is the bad guy. Christ is the potential good guy. The cards are telling us so far. So let's see about uh, the race itself between Florida, uh, current Governor Ron DeSantis, who is cut in the same cloth as Texas Governor, and especially Donald Trump. He's even starting to sound, his cadence when he speaks, uh, he's even starting to sound uh, like Trump. Uh, so is uh, Ron DeSantis or is it going to be Charlie Crist? Um, interesting to leave that up to the cards, a split decision like that. So how can I frame this better? Will, well, I just want to know. Will, we'll do six cards on Will Ron DeSantis lose. Then I'll do six cards on Will uh, Charlie Crist win. What else can I do? Okay, so. One will Ron DeSantis lose. Is it five? And then six. Will Ron DeSantis lose? First card. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So this is the uh, Six of Cups. Uh, I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups. So this is Illusion and Delusion. Signifier. Ron DeSantis will he lose? Oh my God. The challenge to that, Ron DeSantis will lose. This illusion, delusion, the challenge to that is the devil card. The basis of this reading, wow, is he brings, uh, this is an ace of coins. He brings a tremendous amount of value. The past of this is the five, six, seven, eight of wands, all these actions, uh, motions, plans, all these actions, all this activity going on in the past. Is, uh, is what brought us to this point. And then the sky of this is the star card. He is, right now, the star. You know, he has got a bright, shining star. He's a young man, energetic, and he looks like, a you know, he, he could be um, the people's Trump. Final, and into, as to whether he will um, win or lose, King of Cups, King of Compassion. So he's bringing a great big offering of compassion to the table. I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the first reading, the devil card for De Satan. Come on, uh, let's just do a spread real quick. One more card only. Will DeSantis win or lose? Let's see what this card tells us. Death. He will lose. 
Wow. Wow. Ron DeSantis, win or lose. Well, he shows up as uh, the uh, illusion and delusion, the Seven of Cups. He's challenged by the devil himself. He's challenged by himself. The uh, base of the whole thing is the enormous amount of uh, value that he brings to this uh, race in his recognition. And his, you know, everybody knows in Florida who he is, and he's very charismatic. So he'll pass on to the nation quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the uh, pass to this reading is eight of wands, all those issues. He is the star, and the likely outcome is that he, a great big king of cups, he brings all that emotion to the to the table. And one more card to finish the whole thing off. Will he lose the death card? Well, if he loses, then it has to be Chris that wins, doesn't it? But let's do uh, that drawing. Charlie, Chris, is he going to win the Florida governor's race? Charlie, Chris, he's going to win. Oh, look at me saying he's going to win. Will he win the governor's race? Charlie, Chris, will he win the Florida governor's race? Charlie, Chris. Interesting to get that devil card and the death card for DeSantis. Charlie Crist, uh, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Will Charlie Crist win? Very interesting. Of course, if DeSantis loses the Florida race, then he'll be all in on the presidential race, which he would be anyway. Oh, wow. Will he win? The Emperor card is a signifier. I didn't draw any of the cards. That's a great big yes. What's it challenged by? It's challenged by this Ten of Wands. It's a hard, and I love it when the cards repeat, it's a hard battle. These are actions. These are plans. This guy is almost crippled by him. But he can get up and keep moving. The basis of this whole thing, Charlie Crisp, oh my God, illusion and delusion. The basis of this whole thing is the illusion and delusion the race will be. The past to this is strength. He is strong. He has been strong. He's been the governor before. The sky of this reading is the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords is um, a definite end to a cycle. Okay, it would make me think that um, that Charlie Crist it could be the end of him, but the end of a cycle kind of makes me think it's the, the end of the of the DeSantis uh, cycle. I hope. And then the final outcome as to will Charlie Crist uh, win the race is a seven of wands and it's still a battle but this guy is above the fray okay he's he's fighting strong he's up there above the fray and he's not going to give up one last card just like we did for desantis will chris win again the king of cups so they're equally matched in that respect let's read it again there will charlie chris win well he shows up instantly as the emperor. I mean, that has to be the winning card right there. And it's challenged by the hard uh, battle that it's going to be, the Ten of Wands. It's underscored by the illusion and delusion that uh, DeSantis will bring to the race. It's in the past of this is uh, the strength that Chris has had in the past. Doesn't mean that he'll have it now. And in the sky of this is the end of a cycle. You have to think it's the end of the bad cycle that they're in. And then the uh, likely outcome of that with the seven of wands is that he stands as the, um, you know, not the victor in this card, but he is standing against all these issues. Then the final card, I say, will he win? Tell me, will he win? And I get the king of cups, which is the same uh, card I got for DeSantis. The difference in this reading is that it starts out with Chris as the emperor. So I love it. So that's the reading, Ron DeSantis and Charlie Crist. Well, the introduction might have been a little silly, but I mean, the concept is, is interesting. So Ron DeSantis has gone off the rails. Charlie Crist is coming in to save the day. And uh, let me know what you think. You know, put something down in the comments. Tell me uh, what you're thinking about this video. And uh, what would you like me to read on? I'll read on that. So thanks. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Oh, say so, so. This is a grand or tarot grand lux tarot grand lux. Another Cairo Marchetti uh, deck. This guy is just a machine putting out these cards, but they come in a great box. 
and uh, they've got a really useful uh, guidebook as far as the divination is concerned. It's easy to read and it's, you know, handheld and, you know, it's just another of uh, Cairo Marchetti's version of uh, tarot cards, which all seem to be pretty cool. Um, they're easy to use and they've got a nice kind of a matte finish that doesn't slide out of your hands too easily. And uh, so I do this so you get a chance to look at the cards and see how they are. Maybe you don't uh, buy a lot of cards or look at a lot of different cards, but if you watch my channel, you do. <laughs> so there we go. Good way to get uh, your energy all over the, all over them, and um, and so I don't know. I think that kind of makes for a better uh, read uh, when everything's all said and done. So here we go. These uh, tarot grand lux. It's some funny thing that I always want to say grand lux tarot, and um, I bet everybody does that. But anyway, we'll use these and get this going. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.